boys and girls welcome back to a brand new video and today we're playing one of the first ever world at war custom zombies maps world at war for me holds a special place in my heart because this is where zombies literally began and if it wasn't for games like this then we wouldn't have custom zombies that we have today i mean well just look at this map and then look at what we have now the leaps and bounds zombies has made overall has been insane and i think it's really cool that it's christmas themed because personally i love christmas what's up my guy take that the only thing that I thought was weird about custom zombies on World at War is that when you walk, the pistol basically ends up in your crotch. But I mean, it's whatever. So where is everything? Have I got to go up there or is it just like down here? Okay, so I can get up onto the top of this subway. Is this like a car park or is it an underground subway? It's called subway, but it looks more like an underground car park that's been abandoned, to be honest with you. You must ascend from darkness. Yeah, you do that by subscribing to my really cool YouTube channel where I make loads of custom zombies videos for your faces to enjoy. This pistol takes so long to reload, man. Oh my gosh, I need this gun. I can't get it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, let's go. This is the original M14 and you can reload cancel, which I think is also... Okay, I can't reload cancel apparently. I know everybody roasts me about this and it's called a nuke, but I call it a kaboom. Just get over it already, pretty please. Salvation lies above. Well, I'm trying to get there. I need 2,000 points first, my friend. One of the other things that I really like about World at War is that it was genuinely scary back in the day. The noise every time the round changed and things like that. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, it gave me goosebumps. So many zombies on round three. What is happening right now? On the bright side, at least I'm gonna get 2,000 points quite quickly at this rate. Oh yeah, double points, come on. I like how it has a timer as well, so I know how long I've got to blast the heads off. Was that the last one? Yes, it was. Okay, then that was pointless. How come it won't let me open... Oh, it will let me open this one. I thought it was only letting me open that one at first. The original mystery box. Dude, this looks awesome. With Christmas lights as well, this looks amazing. I can't lie. Can I go through this door? No, I can't. Can I go through this one? No, I can't remove the debris from there either. Okay, I nearly trapped myself. You know what? I actually felt more comfortable being down there. I wonder if there's any perks. It doesn't seem like it so far. Were perks even invented back in 2008 anyway? Did Juggernaut exist then? I don't think it did, or it might have just come out from one of the other World at War maps, but who knows. And an insta-kill. See, this is what you call a good combination. This will always be the most goated combo on the face of the earth. Any more zombies down here? I don't think I can see any, but I am going to hit the box. I want to see if the ray gun's even in this, and I don't think it is. The deployable browning. This is a beast. I feel safe with this. This is good. What's up, boys? I genuinely don't think there's any perks at all in this because I can't go through any of these doors and I can only sit up here and down there. But then again, this is 2008. This is a very basic map. The trench gun. Back in World at War, I used to use this all the time. It's not that good. Okay, then. Are they glitching? I think they're glitching. Yeah, they're glitching. <laughs> My brain just wants to automatically compare this to Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies, but Black Ops 3 Zombies is way more advanced. I mean, Black Ops 3 came out in 2015, I think it was, and this came out in 2008. This map actually came out, I think it was December the 8th, 2008. There is literally nothing around here. Hang on, wait, can I get in there? Apparently so. Okay, cool. Give me the Tommy gun. Now this, my friends, is what you call an OG gun. There's been so many iterations of this gun over the years, but this stands out as the best. Hence why it's the original. Original things, in my opinion, are usually the best. It's the same with movies. When you reboot movies, the reboots are usually pretty terrible. Wait, what's this? Oh, hang on a minute. Have I just got myself stuck? Yes, I have. It's really tempting to take this right now, but I'm not going to do it. Yes, I will. The BAR. Now, that's another classic from World at War that is still in zombies to this day. I wonder if there's any other secrets. This looks like a doorway, but it's... Yeah, it's not. It really is not a doorway. Can I open this? No, I can't. Okay, then. Can I open this? Yes, I can. Can I at least have quick revive? I don't even know if that was a thing back when this map came out either. Guys, I think there's a perk machine over there. How did I miss all of those shots? Oh, man, there's a lot of zombies. Please just leave me alone, man. What's on the other side of this door? It is the double barrel shotgun. I've already got that from the box once. Okay, so you can open up the map a little bit, I guess. You can open up this part of the map from three different locations just for the Tommy gun. That is insane. I'm stuck at a bit of a crossroads, to be honest. I really want to hit the box and get a new gun. And I also want to open that door where there looks like there's a perk. Yes, please. I will take that. I just clipped on there. That's not good. Oh, no. No, 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 please. Don't. No, 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 no. 
No, please. No, don't kill me. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. Okay, let's hit the box first. So I've actually got a decent weapon that doesn't slow me down like that massive machine gun. The nostalgia has just absolutely ruined my soul. This is amazing. Did you know in World at War Zombies, the developers didn't think anyone would actually get past round 60. So after round 60, the health resets to, I think, round 1 health. I just think the number of zombies is increased, but the health is fully reset. That's why the relaxing end got to such a high round years and years and years and years ago. Oh no, I'm getting a little stuck. Oh no, 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 please. I'm alive somehow. This is actually amazing. <laughs> I genuinely would feel more safe down there, but I, yeah, I'm going down there. See you later, guys. Where did that come from? What the hell? That is not a perk machine. This is the thing that I thought was a perk machine. E to open the cabinet. Okay, and it's just gave me a sniper rifle. I've lost my flamethrower. Guess I've got to join FaZe Clan after all. Oh, man. No, I'm so dead. No, please. Please, no. Please, no. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but this is something I thought was awesome about World at War Zombies as well. It's actually really difficult. I'm so dead. I'm 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 dead. No, I'm not. Oh, my God. I'm a genius. What was that? Speaking of snipers and phase clan, did anybody watch Nadeshot vs Banks? Wow, Banks absolutely wiped the floor with him. Everybody was writing my boy off only because he's not touched the controller in ages, but they forgot to realise he is an absolute machine and an OG. Not saying that Nadeshot isn't, but phase Banks, bro, listen, you are not beating phase Banks. You know to say this is the first ever Call of Duty Zombies map ever as far as custom maps are concerned. It's amazing. I really like this. I didn't think it was going to be that good right off the bat, to be completely honest, but... I'm loving it. The thing I'm not loving right now is this sniper, though. I can't believe I did that. I've got to hit the box again. Burn, baby, burn. Burn. You're all dead. The ray gun. <laughs> it's actually in this map. No way is the ray gun actually here right now. This is... Wow. Okay, this is cool. Okay, I've just downed myself. That... Well, okay, then. I don't know what to say right now. 